Hello, you're watching Hornbill TV's Explainery. The Election Commission of India on 16th March announced the schedule for the Lok Sabha elections 2022 for the world's largest democratic ele elections, slated to begin from the 19th of April and setting to end on the 1st of June. The election process will take place in seven phases, while the results will be declared on June 4th. 543 seats of the Lok Sabha will be up for grabs as political parties all gear up to take part in the Festival of Democracy. In today's explanatory, we will analyze the seven phases and some of the unique features of the election. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar in a press conference at New Delhi's Vigyan Bhavan informed that India has a total of 96.8 crore registered voters, of which 49.72 crore are men and 47.1 crore are women. There are 1.82 crore first-time electors, of which 85 lakh are women and 19.47 crore voters between the age of 20 and 29 years. Mr. Kumar said that the gender ratio among electors has improved significantly to 948 women for every 1,000 men, noting that there are more women than men voters in 12 states. This is the first time in a general election that people above the age of 85 years, as well as those with more than 40% disability, will be able to vote from their own homes. There are 85 lakh registered voters who are aged above 85 years, while the number of voters with disabilities is 88.4 lakhs. The electoral roll also contained 21.18 lakh centenarians. CC Rajiv Kumar said 55 lakh electronic voting machines will be used to, in the entire exercise. Voters above 85 years and persons with disabilities with 40% benchmark disability can vote from home. Drone-based checking will be in place at some international borders in order to check violence, the CEC added. 2.6 Three crore new electors who have been included in the electoral roll are between 18 and 29 years of age, out of which around 1.41 crore of female electors, which surpassed the newly enrolled male voters at 1.22 crore by over 15%. Around 10.5 lakh polling booths have been set up, which will be manned by 1.5 crore polling officials. Another unique feature is that this parliamentary election will be the second longest polling exercise in India's electoral history. The longest so far was the country's first general election, which was held over a five-month period between September 1951 and February 1952. The current Lok Sabha's term ends on June 16th, and a new house must be formed before that. The terms of four state assembly also end in June. In the last general election, the BJP won 303 seats, aiming for a third consecutive term, while the Congress secured 52 seats. Coming back to the schedule, the Phase 1 polling for Lok Sabha elections will be held on April 19th. The Phase 1 polls will be held in 102 Lok Sabha or parliamentary constituencies in a total of 21 states. The states that are going to the poll in the Phase 1 of the Lok Sabha elections are Arunachal Pradesh with two constituencies, Assam with five, Bihar four, Chhattisgarh one, Madhya Pradesh six, Maharashtra five, Manipur two, Meghalaya two, Mizoram one, Nagaland one, Rajasthan twelve, Sikkim 1, Tamil Nadu 39, Tripura 1, Uttar Pradesh 8, Uttarakhand 5, West Bengal 3, Andaman and Nicobar 1, JNK 1, Lakshwadweep 1, Puducherry 1. The Phase 2 polling for the Lok Sabha elections will be held on April 26th. The Phase 2 polls will be held in 89 Lok Sabha or parliamentary constituencies in a total of 13 states. The states that are going to poll in Phase 2 of the Lok Sabha elections are Assam 5, Bihar 5, Chhattisgarh 3, Karnataka 14, Kerala 20, Madhya Pradesh 7, Maharashtra 8, Manipur 1, Rajasthan 13, Tripura 1, Uttar Pradesh 8, West Bengal 3, Jammu and Kashmir 1. The phase 3 polling for the Lok Sabha elections will be held on May 7th. The Phase 3 polls will be held in 94 Lok Sabha or parliamentary constituencies in a total of 12 states. The states that are going to poll in the Phase 3 of the Lok Sabha elections are Assam 4, Bihar 5, Chhattisgarh 7, Goa 2, Gujarat 26, Karnataka 14, Madhya Pradesh 8, Maharashtra 11, Uttar Pradesh 10, West Bengal 4, Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu 2, Jammu and Kashmir 1. Phase 4 polling for the Lok Sabha elections will be held on May 13th. The Phase 4 polls will be held in 96 Lok Sabha or parliamentary constituencies in a total of 10 states. The states that are going to poll in Phase 4 of the Lok Sabha elections are Andhra Pradesh 25, Bihar 5, Jharkhand 4, Madhya Pradesh 8, Maharashtra 11, Odisha 4, Telangana 17, Uttar Pradesh 13, West Bengal 8, Jammu and Kashmir 1. 
The phase 5 polling for the Lok Sabha elections will be held on May 20th. The phase 5 polls will be held in 49 Lok Sabha or parliamentary constituencies in a total of 8 states. The states that are going to the poll in phase 5 of the Lok Sabha elections are Bihar 5, Jharkhand 3, Maharashtra 13, Odisha 5, Uttar Pradesh 14, West Bengal 7, Jammu and Kashmir 1, Ladakh 1. The phase 6 polling for the Lok Sabha elections will be held on May 25th. The phase 6 polls will be held in 57 Lok Sabha or parliamentary constituencies in a total of 7 states. The states that are going to the poll in phase 6 of the Lok Sabha elections are Bihar 8, Haryana 10, Jharkhand 4, Odisha 6, Uttar Pradesh 14, West Bengal 8, Delhi 7. While in the 7th and last phase will be held on June 1st. The phase 7 polls will be held in 57 Lok Sabha seats in a total of 8 states. The states that are going to poll in phase 7 of the Lok Sabha elections are Bihar 8, Himachal Pradesh 4, Jharkhand 3, Odisha 6, Punjab 13, Uttar Pradesh 13, West Bengal 9, Chandigarh 1. Now that the election dates are out, many leaders that are currently in power have welcomed the dates set by the Election Commission of India. However, opposition parties have welcomed the announcement, but some have pointed out that the spread out polling process is likely to benefit the Bharatiya Janata Party. The Trinamool Congress has also said the poll body did not take into account the West Bengal government's suggestions of holding the elections in one or two phases. We wanted a single or twin phase Lok Sabha election in the state. Our views were that a multiple phase election helps political parties with deeper pockets and gives them an advantage over others. Bengal Finance Minister Chandrima Bhattacharya was quoted as saying by PTI, it said that the seven phase polling in the state once again will help parties with deeper pockets. Speaking to reporters later, Mr. Kharge said a seven phase election means that Prime Minister Narendra Modi wants to tour everywhere and it could have been completed in three or four phases. We are not anxious about what is going to happen, but Modi ji putting seven phases, it means that he wants to tour everywhere. In this country, I have also contested nearly 12 elections and there hardly used to be four phases. Sometimes it used to be even one phase. News agency PTI quoted him as saying. In a scathing criticism of the Election Commission of India, Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament Kapil Sibbal on Sunday accused the poll panel of partisanship towards the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party. Speaking to news agency ANI, Sibbal said, they are showing their loyalty towards the BJP and saying that we are scheduling elections in seven phases so that the army of campaigners and resources that BJP have can use it accordingly. ECI's loyalty is visible in every phase, Sibyl alluded. Hey, brother, भाई इनके भी फेजेस ऑफ लॉयल्टी होते हैं ना तो दी सेवन फेजेस इज द फेज ऑफ लॉयल्टी ये दिखाना चाहते हैं इस सरकार को देख हम आपके जो आप चाहते हो अब वैसे ही होगा बीजेपी को फायदा मिलेगा ये जो फेज है वो ज्यादा बढ़ाते हैं नहीं भाई ये जो इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड इकट्ठा किया है इन्होंने जो बाकी जो अवैध पैसा भी इकट्ठा होगा वो जो हम देखते रहे हैं तो फायदा तो भाई जिसके पास पैसा है उसके पास सत्ता है With all that being said as soon as the ECI announced the poll dates the model code of conduct has come into effect with various government officials all over the country making it official This election will see a direct one on one battle between the BJP led NDA versus the INDIA bloc with PM Narendra Modi and the Bharatiya Janata Party already picking the slogan for 2024, which is Up Ki Baar Char So Par, and the INDI bloc pledging to the people that this election would be an election to save democracy, which pitch gets accepted by the people will be known only on June 4th. For more explainaries like this, keep watching Honorable TV. Goodbye.